Iron Man 3 was actually a big disappointment for me. Um, and I watched Iron Man 2 the other night, and I realized that Iron Man 2 is not that great. You know, it was, it was, there was a lot of humor, silly humor, um, wasted talent. So, you know, I was kind of hoping Iron Man 3 would have been different. You know, they have a new director, Shane Black, taking over director of Jon Favreau. Um, you know, they had a new villain, the Mandarin, played by Ben Kingsley. So it's kind of, you know, a lot of great things here. It looks like a pretty decent movie. Um, you know, it's... I was kind of, I'm kind of lost for words for this review. And I knew I, right off the bat I would have a hard time reviewing this movie. Um, you know, it felt off. That was one of the biggest things for me. It felt off. Um, Tony Stark is, you know, he, he's put up against a test against the Mandarin and he's having like anxiety attacks and he's dealing with the uh, traumatic events of the Avengers after New York. Um, so Tony Stark is a different person in this movie. You know, the first two, he's um, a smart ass, he's cocky, he's funny. It works with uh, how he is, but in this movie, he's more sincere. He thinks before he does things. He still has kind of got that humor, but he knows that there's consequences to things, and you know, there's other things important than Iron Man. Uh, they focus more on Tony Stark in this movie than they did uh, Iron Man. That's what I kind of missed there was I like the old Tony Stark. I know that the the approach that they're doing is worth it and it's all going to pay off in the end, but I just didn't really care for it. I couldn't believe it, um, you know, with some parts. Another thing is the villain, Ben Kingsley, the Mandarin, um, that was wasted talent. Um, if you guys have seen Iron Man, if you haven't seen it, there will be a part where you know that it just hits you and you know that it's wasted talent. Um, they also threw in Guy Pierce, who is a great actor and his role is good. And until the end, it kind of got too cartoony. Um, you know, I was actually really disappointed with this movie. Um, it was too Christmassy. You know, Shane Black, he has a, he's uh, famous for, you know, throwing in Christmas scenes for his movies. But it was a lot of Christmas stuff. Um, and I just had a lot of problems with this movie. The action, I won't tell you guys about the action. The action was great. Don't get me wrong, if you guys seen the trailer, he's like, I need backup. That's your department. And all these Iron Man's flying, that was an awesome scene. Um, with the passengers flying out of the plane, that was pretty cool. It was um, when he, his home was being attacked. So the action was there. The action was good. Everything else in the movie was bad. Um, and I thought the story was all right. It was typical, typical um, villain story. Um, you know, there was just a lot of things that I had problems with, and I think I couldn't get past it to see any goodness in it except the action. Um, no. It's probably because it's a different director. You know, I'm, I really did like Iron Man 1. Iron Man 2 was alright. Iron Man 3 was alright. But I honestly would rather watch Iron Man 2 over Iron Man 3. Um, I really wanted it to be... I really wanted it to be good. Um, the acting from Guy Pierce was good. Um, I really wanted more of Don Cheadle. I like Don Cheadle. Um, I wish they had his own movie. His own War Machine Iron Patriot movie. But there was just too many things wrong with this movie that I, I couldn't get past. It was there was a lot of silly moments. There was a lot of moments that didn't weren't needed. There was a lot of scenes that made it longer. Like it was a two hour and twenty minute movie, but there were scenes that could have been cut out to cut it down in size. And it, these few scenes that were just weren't needed, and it was too over the top, and it played with the story too much, and I just. I was like, this needs to be over with. There was a lot of scenes where I like that. Um, I, was, I can think of like three right off the bat. I'm not going to say them, but there was three scenes that I noticed that were not needed. Um, so that was another problem I had. There was just too many problems. Uh, this is more of a rant than a review. I did not want this. This is not something that needs to kickstart my summer.
I mean, it, I don't know what to say. It's Iron Man 3. Go see it. Everybody will. Um, comment down below what you tell me what you think about this. Uh, link up your review or video response to this review. I don't know. I just, I'm lost. I'm, I'm completely lost for more words for this review. I had a hard time explaining myself after the movie what I th thought about it. You know, it's, it's a lengthy review, I'm sorry, but I just needed to get this off my chest, what I thought the movie was. Um, so Iron Man 3, yep. You know, I had a hard time actually telling my friend that to be in the top 20 of the year. That's how bad I thought it was. Yep, I'm done. This is Justin Watches Movies. Please remember to subscribe, comment, look out on, on Tuesday, look out for Jack Reacher, Mama, and Safe Haven Blu-ray unboxings. So it's May 3rd, summer has started with this Iron Man 3 movie, yay. I'm going to go check out everybody else's reviews now, I'm going to go see what everybody else says. So I'll see y'all later, bye.